So if you guys aren't familiar with Hogwarts Legacy, it's been pretty chaotic, toxic even, on both sides of the fence, but mostly on the side of the boycotters. Yeah, the Hogwarts Legacy boycotters recently attacked a variety of streamers for just playing the game, most notably Girlfriend Reviews. If you watch the video that I made, I covered that. Uh, Girlfriend Reviews was harassed and brought to near tears because they were playing the game. Well, this trend is continuing. We have a new casualty, Silver Veil. Now, this is a v VTuber. If you don't know what a VTuber is, it's essentially a streamer that has this animated character that they have as the person on their stream. So this is Silver Veil. And apparently they were brought to tears over Twitch stream harassment, which is becoming pretty prolific. Um, for me, I didn't encounter it too much. I had a few people here or there telling me playing the game is hurtful and do I really like the game or am I, am I just trying to be anti-woke? It was like so fucking stupid. Like I've never seen a game cause so many crybabies to come out. Honestly, like these people claim to be activists, like trans activists and stuff. But outside of patrolling people on Twitch and harassing their comment sections, what are they really doing for, for trans rights? You know what I mean? Continuing on with this story, this article is going to give you guys a reason um, why some of these people in this trans cult, this boycott cult, are kind of hypocrites. You know, they want people to make safe spaces, but in this instance... Silver Veil used the Twitch auto mod, which banned the word trans. And it essentially triggered all the boycotters to think that she's anti-trans and it just backfired. This is what happens when streamers try to placate the fucking woke mob. You know, you give them an inch, they take a mile, and then it's never good enough. They eventually turn against you and they did it to this streamer. They brought her to new near tears. So let's go ahead and read it. This is a uh, Twitch VTuber Silver Veil was left in tears after her protective measures to prevent harassment during a Hogwarts Legacy stream resulted in backlash. So she took protective me uh, measures to stop harassment. And now she's being harassed by the people that she was trying to protect because of something that Automod did. No shame. No shame in the boycotters. Oh, we're oppressed. No, it's it's weird. The oppressed are the oppressors nowadays. But going on, this says, uh, Boycotters have opposed the game due to its connection to Harry Potter creator. The series creator has been accused of making transphobic comments. So if, if you're not new to the situation, you know about that. Uh, so after fellow streamers were harassed and abused for streaming the game, Silver Veil decided to implement Twitch's auto mod to help combat hate raids and bullying. But that seems to have only made things worse. As you can see, here's a tweet from a VTuber Cringe account, which I need to follow them. I need to follow VTuber Cringe so I could uh, <laughs> so I could get some content out of it. But they posted this thing saying, uh, Silver Veil clarifies the banning of the word trans in her Twitch chat. So again, Automod is a feature. I actually personally use it on my channel, uh, my Twitch channel, because I don't have active Twitch mods that often. So it helps eliminate you know, harassment, bullying, trolling, things like that. So Silver Veil used Automod to help combat it because it's been getting pretty intense for some people. And evidently it banned the word trans by itself. You can see right here, thank you for asking here instead of dogpiling random tweets. It's not. The word trans by itself is held by Automod for review. It's Twitch default Automod behavior. I haven't banned any words in chat other than ones used only for harassment. I don't know where people are getting these ideas about me, but it's really hurtful. I'll address it formally when I feel okay enough to talk to anyone. So, yeah, they, they tried to make protective major, uh, measures, do a safe space, and they bet they, they these people bite the hand that feeds. The, the woke cancel culture mob bite the hand that feeds. They're not going to accept, oh, Automod did it. They're going to fucking go to the worst case scenario over it. And they made a long clip that is linked on this article that I'm looking at from Dick Serto. I'm not going to watch the whole 18-minute clip, but this kind of gives a cliff notes of exactly what happened. If you guys want to go find it, you can find it for yourself. Uh, but this says, in a post on Discord and a supplemental explainer streamer afterwards, Silver Veil revealed that the word trans gets held by Automod for review and she didn't ban it. 
and an emotional broadcast, a streamer explained how wanting to play Hogwarts Legacy meant a lot to her. And in order to be comfortable, measures had to be taken to stop hate raids and harassment. So she did this from a good place. She really wanted to play the game, but she wanted people to not be harassed and attack trans people. All right. So she had good intention with it. She wanted to play the game. That doesn't mean that she's anti-trans. She wanted to make a safe space. Um, now, this goes on to say uh, what she said. Those terms were basic terms used for harassment, such as transphobe and other really negative things that would never be used in my chat in a positive way. But apparently people think I banned the word trans in my chat, which I did not. According to Silver, Ve Silver Veil, words like trans and gay fall, fall under the level two moderation filter because they're regularly used to incite harassment on Twitch. And you can see this is the clip right here. We'll just kind of play a little bit of it. Uh going around and just you know you could you could hear that what you're hearing from people isn't true and tell and this person people just this individual is very upset about the situation see on a tweet and just take it for fact no one bothered to fact check any of this which is surprising but also not surprising at the same time and these kind of situations um as a public figure it's usually better so uh yeah i'm gonna pause it right there if you guys want to continue watching that it's on youtube you can go ahead and look it up uh they're very obviously upset by the situation they didn't mean to get attacked and harassed and it's not cool for these people in this cult to attack and harass every single person that's playing the game it's very fucking childish honestly it really is uh but yeah a cliff notes of some of the things she said right here i had no idea my mods didn't know none of us knew she cried noting how people posted on twitter that she blocked a word they felt it necessary to post on twitter before telling me or my mods because they did it purely for hatred and that's the thing is they they look for a reason to get a gotcha moment from people Although Silvervale fixed the problem and now allows the, allows the word trans, the damage has been done with the streamer saying she had been slandered. The streamer ended her discussion by calling the Hogwarts Legacy boycotters a hate mob, which is true, and encouraged them to use their energy on something more positive, which is also what they should do. You people that are doing, like, you could boycott the stream, right? But leave people the fuck alone, all right? You made your choice. You could do all that. If you want to be an activist, do something that helps people. Going and being a hate mob is is not the right way to do it. And again, if, if these people had the same energy sent back at them, they would be crying. These people would need their safe space if, if somebody went to their stream and attacked them. 110 fucking percent. These people are childish. They act like Nazis. Uh, they... they scream and scream and scream and cancel until they get their way streamers are afraid to play this game because they don't want to get attacked and then when the people do try to do stuff and they do try to put precautions to uh keep it a safe environment they still attack the goalpost just keeps moving on and on and on and this is another example of twitch stream harassment from these boycotters and it's ridiculous honestly again like i said i've never seen a game cause this much of a situation and, and at this point, it's becoming like a bunch of babies crying for it. You know what I mean? Even when there's a trans character in the game, it's still not good enough for them. Uh, you know, it's it's always going to be an issue. And without throwing these hissy fits in these identity politics, they would never feel like they had anything to fight for in their life. This is what makes the woke and cancel culture feel like they're providing some kind of significant value to life. And honestly, they're not. <laughs> being a hate mob doesn't do anything for anybody go do some real activism somewhere make a difference in life get off the computer 